If you don't know how to do this quick and easy simple repair to fix a snapped winch cable, you could find yourself stuck in a really bad position. This winch repair will work for anything that has a winch, whether it's a four-wheeler, a side-by-side, -side, a Jeep, or any other off-road vehicle. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix any winch cable, as well as any other size or style wire rope cable like this. Some people call this a Molly Hogan loop, others call it a farmer's eye or an eye splice. I just call this a great way to get yourself out of the jam. You can also use the same method to make your own whips or recovery straps where you put a hoop on either end. That way you have something to wrap around a tree or something else and then hook up to your winch. To reuse your hook on the new hoop we make, you're going to want to make this cotter pin here straight. That way we can pull it out. After that's pulled out, we can pull the pin and then we can remove the hook. Some people just take the winch cable and fold it over like this and make their own hoop with cable clamps, but that's not the right way to do it. Under pressure, that could easily pull out. It makes the job a little easier and cleaner if you cut this here and start with a fresh clean piece. Since most people don't have wire rope cable cutters, people cut these cables a lot of different ways. Some people use a hacksaw, but that takes forever and barely even cuts through. Other people hold it with a pair of vice grips and then use a sawzall to cut through it. I think a fun way to do it is to use a grinder. But you could also easily do it by using a pair of pin snips. Just unravel it and cut each strand one at a time. I've heard of some people trying to use bolt cutters thinking that'll work, but that doesn't actually shear through the cable and cut it off. That just crushes the cable where you're trying to cut it and puts an indent in it. I have heard of people having good success using a really sharp cold chisel and hitting it with a hammer with the cable on top of a vise or an anvil or some kind of solid piece of steel. The first thing we're going to need to do to repair this is to unwind the cables that create this cable. The way that this cable is made is it's smaller cables that are woven and wound together in order to create one strong single cable. So we're gonna need to untwist these and you might be able to just untwist them by your hand to start pulling them apart. But if they're really tight and you're in the garage, you can get some lines and pliers and then you can twist them to open them. Some people also take a screwdriver, kind of jam it in and open it up. Other people just take a hammer and just smack it with a hammer until they kind of flatten them out and then pull them apart. If you're in the woods and you don't have access to anything, hopefully you can use your hands. If not, you're gonna have to improvise, get a rock or something in order to get these open. Once we have this open, we're gonna to start to unwind it and we're gonna to try to keep it as even as possible. This particular cable has seven cables that create the one cable. So we're gonna do four on one side and three on the other side. So as you're opening it up, just see which ones kinda of naturally stay together and then start unwinding it. And we're gonna just start unwinding it quite a bit actually because we're gonna to have to create a loop once we're done. And in order to see how much you have to unwind you can basically just take this and create your own loop and see where you would be you probably want the hoop a little bit tighter if it's going to be for a four-wheeler winch and then you can see where it's going to be you want about a six inch tail in order to get maximum strength out of this so we're going to need to unwind this and go a little bit longer so we're going to continue to just go and unwind it and kind of uh, test as we go to kind of see where we're at for our loop so if we get down to here, um, that would probably give us roughly what we need. So we basically take these and these only go together one way. So if you start trying to interweave these together and they don't interlock real nice and tight, like that where they're kind of loose, then you're going the wrong way. So if it looks like that, you're gonna wanna unwind it and then flip it the other direction so you start weaving it the other way. Once we do that and we start weaving it, you can see how it goes nice and tight together. So once we have it go in the right direction, we're gonna figure out the size of the hoop we want and we're gonna get it as even as possible. And then we're just gonna start interlocking these back together. Loop this through, they'll fit nice and tight like a puzzle to interlock together. And we're gonna continue to work our way down. You might have to kind of pull it to tighten it up. So we're gonna to continue to weave this back in and you wanna make sure that you get this area here. So don't stop up there, make sure you get this last weave. So we're gonna to continue to weave this in. That way it all interconnects into one piece. 
So once we get down here, you can see that this is all interconnected and nice in one piece. So we're gonna take these tail ends and we're just gonna start spinning them together. And they work the same way where they should interlock back into each other. So we'll just continue to spin these together just like that. And you can see how nice that looks. Almost a factory look. Another method some people use in order to interconnect the tails is they leave the two tail ends separate and then they take a screwdriver in between them and they twist and they try to rewrap it around the main cable in order to interlock it with that. That's a little bit more difficult, but something you could try out if you want. Once you get this nice new hoop made and everything is tightly woven and interlocked together, you should retain most of the strength that it originally had. There's a lot of debate on that, but either way, it'll work for either small recovery whips or an emergency repair to get you out of the jam. When I'm done making these whips, I take the tail and I'll kind of wrap it around at the end like that, and then I'll take electrical tape and I'll tape it from uh, the inside out so the sticky part is on the outside. And I'll just wrap this to kind of keep it nice and tight and together. After I'm done wrapping it all with the sticky side out, I'm gonna rewrap it with the sticky side in. That way the outside of the cable isn't sticky. Now that it's all taped up, you're probably fine just using this the way that it is. But if you want an extra layer of protection, you can get a cable clamp and put that on here just to make sure everything holds together. You don't want to go too far down depending on where your cable is going to go back into your winch, but figure out a spot that makes sense and then put your clamp on there and we're just going to bolt it down. Now that we're done with the cable, we're going to put our hook back on. We're going to slide that through, put the pin through, and then we're going to take our cotter pin, slide that through, and we're done. Now if you need to do this on something that doesn't have a removable pin like this hook here does, then you can actually just slide one of these cables right through here and you can do the same exact repair. And we're just gonna start interconnecting it. You're gonna have to put one of these two loops through whatever you're putting it through. So once we get that through there, we're gonna pull that out. So now we have the hoop and we're gonna continue weaving just like we did before. And then we can weave these together just like the other one. And now we just did the same exact thing, putting it on something that we didn't have access to take apart. And that's how easy it is to fix a winch cable on the fly. Now it's time to get back to work. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. I'd be happy to answer any questions in the comments. If this video did help you out, please let me know in the comments. Like this video, share it with someone else to help them out, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss other good videos like this.